Thank you, Honourable Speaker, sir. Let me come to uh, demand number 11, <clears throat> Medical Health and Family Welfare Services. Uh, <clears throat> Churachanpur is the second largest town in this uh, beautiful state of ours. But uh, as far as the equipments, diagnostic facilities in the district hospital is concerned, even the basic CT scan facility is still lacking. So I request the Honourable Minister to kindly have it in mind to plan for and maybe provide CT scan facility to the district hospital, which in this day and age is no longer a high-end equipment. And also, if possible, within the constraints of the budget to consider providing MRI, MRI facility because with the availability of these diagnostic equipments, a lot of citizens of the state, especially from Churchanpur district, can save a lot of money in medical care, not requiring to travel to Imphal and elsewhere. Since I have been disallowed my point of order, I will come to demand number 14, Department of Tribal Affairs and Hills, which has, in a way, a linkage to the point of order that I was trying to raise. Department of Tribal Affairs and Hills also provides for the budgetary support to autonomous, autonomous district councils in the state. And looking at the provisions for the autonomous district councils, And comparing that figure to the total demands of the state budget, and also again comparing the percentage of the hill area population to the entire population in the state, I find the allocations for the autonomous district councils uh, pretty disproportionate to the kind of functions that they are expected to deliver. So, my plea before this August House is that if not this time, in future, considering the fact that the autonomous district councils look into almost every aspect of governance, although in a limited way, that we may allocate more funds to the ADCs so that the members of the district council can fulfill some of the burning aspirations of the people that they represent. On labor and employment, Honorable Speaker, sir, 
I'd like to bring to the notice of this August House that there is one ITI, Industrial Training Institute, in Saikot, the village after which my constituency is named. I visited it once, and the infrastructure is in a hopeless, dilapidated state. I had asked the supervisor in charge to prepare an estimate to revive, to renovate, repair and build on the ITI so that it becomes functional again and it helps in skilling the youth of the area so that they can contribute to the building of the economy of the state. I have forwarded the proposals to the concerned minister and I want to put it on the record of this house, my request to the honorable minister to kindly look into it and if possible expedite the reconstruction, repairing and strengthening of that ITI which is the lawn ITI in the entire district. Coming to uh, demand number 19 regarding forest and environment, I would like to bring to the notice of the Honourable Minister that uh, there are various checkpoints, not established checkpoints, but uh, checkpoints which the location of which is determined by uh, the forest officials uh, that are unduly, I should say, harassing villages, transporting wood for their own consumption, forest produce, which uh, forest dwellers have the right to extract. So if the honorable, the honorable minister can look into the matter and uh, curtail such wanton harassment to uh, villages uh, who are transporting firewood or forest produce, for their needs and consumption, not for commercial purposes, and put a stop to it, I'd be very helpful, uh, thankful. With that, let me conclude by thanking the honorable speaker to uh, help me uh, make my maiden intervention or uh, participation in the proceedings of this August House and let me conclude here. Thank you.